How's it? Um, so we got 13 minutes to type uh, uh, three. What are we doing today? Three. It's a burn right test. It's really subjective of um, H3. So it's that's a standard pyrotechnic composition uh, with hemp charcoal. Uh, three parts and uh, the oxid that, that's the fuel uh, is three parts hemp charcoal and the oxidizer is potassium chlorate uh, KClO3 it imparts three oxygen well ions and then anyway let's not worry about the chemistry of it let's just get to the freaking fun part because so that's H3 this is H4, uh, it's one guy on my channel taught me that the stoichiometry of, well he thought anyway, he, but he said that, I don't know, I believe him, straight up, he said the stoichiometry of charcoal to chloride is incorrect, he believed that, that a better mixture was instead of 10 parts chloride to 3 parts um, charcoal, he said it's more like 80% chloride and 20% charcoal by weight and that's this uh, I call it H4 and then this this is a catalyzed red H4 it was initially an H3 then I added H4 with, with the catalyst in it so it's a mixture of that and that and um, plus I made uh, some really fast black powder Okay, how many minutes do we have left? Ah, 10 minutes. Alright, so made this black powder. It's a hemp, it's made up with the hemp charcoal, so cannabis sativa charcoal uh, with uh, in the 75 15 10 standard uh, black powder rat uh, ratios. Um, and then I catalyze it with 2% red iron oxide and bind it with uh, it's a clear office paste like a, a three percent glue water water soluble glue in about anyway then i then i just turn it into pulver and through a sieve okay maybe we should start there and then work our way up okay. whoa that's all explosive done And we'll try not to kill ourselves. Let's start here with uh, this is the is like black powder. It's the, probably the fastest black powder I've ever made. Uh, it's the one with the uh, water based, 3% uh, water based glue as, as the binder. Uh, use, people often use 5% dextrin but I went with 3% office glue and uh, and I catalyze it with 2% potassium uh, red iron oxide Fe2O3 and then otherwise it's the standard 75 15 10 and the charcoal is hemp it's cannabis sativa well let's try and activate ourselves Traditional H3. Thank 
Maybe have the real head chopper. Canvas sativa. Canvas sativa. Uh, hemp H3, the traditional Shimizu kind of uh, Oh, gives off. Uh, check it's still burning. Alright. Uh, no, and it splatters everywhere. Right, that. They use it as a burst charge. Um, here catalyzed. Here made into H4. And I don't know if it's catalyzed or uncatalyzed. I think this is just H4, like that chat said. I don't know his name right now, I forget his name, but he's on one of our, he, he made some really long comments on my uh, sulfur and potassium chlorate uh, friction sensitivity test video. Go check that out. Um, Check in the comment section for what that arc said. Very interesting term impact it was. It needs to be tight, huh? It's definitely faster. That's his H4, and then that was my improvement to it. So this is a catalyzed, a catalyzed version of that. So if you read in, um, if you read in the chloride forums on science, on science forums, and you check around there, and you read a lot of books about the manufacture of uh, the electrochemical. Uh, potassium or sodium chloride. Uh, you learn that what's what it, what makes it unstable, and um, and also about its catalyst. Strangely, the same same catalyst for KClO3 is Fe2O3. Okay, that's, so this is my improvement on that guy's H4. It's a I call it red H4. It's the red iron oxide catalyzed uh, H4 at. 2% and again the, the black powder I made uh, it's the first one I first burn test I did but again Here the, here the black powder, I think the black powder might be first Yeah, the black powder. It's the first test again for the third time. In terms of gaseous output, okay, so one teaspoon, two teaspoon, four, just don't break this off. One minute, alright, we've got like three minutes left. Cool, so this, which I, it's not for gaseous output, this is quite a lot of that stuff, man. Alright, let's do that. Okay, watch for the output. Wow, that is a lot, man. Stay low. Get some gloves, move that way so you don't choose. Uh, 
one is slower than this black part. That's really at four. And there's this. Check this black part. Hemp. There's the hemp chocolate. Check how good this is. Alright. Okay. I think we can conclude that. Let's try the H4 again. I think we can conclude that it's the that it's the hemp catalyzed black powder. That's the fastest thing I've ever made. Well, besides um, nitrated Epsom. Uh, what is it? HMTD. This is H4. Tears at the air. Do you hear it tearing at the air? Listen to this one exploding straight up like more to deadness. Okay, so again the black powder. Yes. It's faster than normal. Yeah, it's more explosive. I think the reason that it's more explosive is the catalyst. The catalyst. The catalyst. What it does is it. It's a. The catalyst is a thermal well. The way I think it works is the Fe two O three is a thermal well, and you and you would think that's counterintuitive because you want to. Uh, You want to add thermal energy, but in this case, if you go and read up about gasification of of charcoal, you'll see that um, the production of carbon monoxide, so CO, is uh, is more prevalent at lower temperatures, uh, and so a catalyst which keeps the production of carbon monoxide. Um, up so by, by reducing the, the temperature produces a more carbon monoxide which it, which is per unit volume of oxygen ions is more gas than a carbon dioxide in the in the in the which is produced when there's an ex, excess of oxygen but uh, carbon monoxide forms more readily at lower temperatures below 300 degrees Celsius. Anyway, so I think Fe203 is acting as a. I think the Fe203 is acting as a, a thermal well uh, catalyst, and it might, if there's sufficient energy, give off its oxygen, right? Saga out. <laughs>